What is up, my fellow soloists, the soloists? Welcome back to the soloist community. Welcome back to let me find my controller before I start this video. All right, we're good, we're good. Yeah, so welcome back to the Solus community. This is episode four of Soloist Talk, Last of Us Part Two. Now, I actually don't have anything particular to speak about in this video just yet. I'm just gonna free flow it and kinda, whatever ends up happening be the topic of this video, it will be that, probably something that I'm gonna come to me as I'm playing um, one of the multiplayer mode. So I play Supply Raid, the way these episodes work, I play a match online, sometimes two, if I get put into a, a match halfway, and I talk about something related to Last of Us, and hopefully, my hope is by the time Last of Us Part 2 comes around, uh, this channel will be filled with a whole bunch of Last of Us fanatics like myself, and it also allows us to have discussion about it leading up to the time. We all know the release date has been pushed back to early 2020. So that's what they're saying right now. Nobody knows too much as to all of that stuff. So until then, we're going to stay and talk about it and go from there. Soloist Talk Episode 4, Last of Us Part 2. So we're going to have a mission. Uh, I got four executions. I need 12 to get 10% or less. So I think, you know, the missions um, in Last of Us, this one, I think they're pretty cool. I think it adds a dynamic that just makes it each match that much more interesting. And really, it's an old school RPG style way of doing things where there's no real camp. There's nothing like that. And I think that'll be something I'd love to see them integrate, where if you choose to be a firefly or you choose to be a hunter, just like in the story mode, you had that area there. And we all know the famous... Uh, security guards when you walk into the security guards twice they push you down and they shoot you you know to have an area like that that's actually dedicated to those factions so that for instance would be the hunter faction and um ooh. Okay, let's have some fun, brodies. Let's have some fun. Fuckers down. Where you going, bro? Where you going? Where you going, bro? Yo, man, that's how that's how we do it, guys. That's how we do it. I don't know what. The, yo, anyways, back to what I was saying. These guys are these guys are a joke. Yeah, so just like how they have in the story mode, you know, just... Oh my god, y'all be getting shot from everywhere. Anyways, forget that dude. Yeah, I don't feel too safe right now, but but yeah, just like in story mode, as I was saying, just like in story mode, that little area there was pretty cool where you're walking through and you're going in the bus and you're seeing all those dogs in the cages, like having a legit section like that. And I kind of have the idea of what Monster Hunter looks like. Monster Hunter Try, for those of you that played it, super far fresh. But if you guys played Monster Hunter Try and Last of Us, you got my respect, man. But... uh Yeah, man, to have an area like that, because in Monster Hunter, you'd, you would load four of you, because it's a team game, into one area like that before you guys actually go on your hunts. So to see something like that, that would be pretty cool, because they already have the idea, like with Supply Raid, that you know you have 20 of us in one area, and you guys are basically vying for the same resources as, in, as another group. 
as the fireflies. Burn, asshole. And you guys just happen to run into each other. Keep breathing. I got this. Wait a second. I got him, bro. Sure. Thanks. Don't disrespect me like that. Oh my god, they're trying to kill me. Cover me. I gotta patch up. Try some smoke off for size. Uniform down. Come on, you have to see him. Wow! How you not shooting him, bro? You, you been seeing him. You been seeing him, and you watched him get out. Yo, oh. my teammate's a bum, bro. Don't tell me he has something to throw. Okay. Um, yeah. Something else about this, I love the fact that. You know, teammates really do matter in this game. Like, I find, like, in Fortnite and games like that, you don't necessarily need... Like, you can actually solo a lot of this stuff. Like, for me, one of the measures of a great team game is... You're by yourself, you can't win. You know what I mean? Like, I've seen games like Fortnite and Apex where people can just solo against four guys. Like... All right, good to yeah, go. that's not really going to happen here. There are videos where people go like 18 and 1 come back and things like that, but that's so far and few between like And even then, who knows if those are real? Oh, I got him right there. You see him, huh? You see him. Oh, yeah, I got him. Fucking A. Um, Place is ours. It won't be coming back here no more. Got him. Get money, get dollars. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, man. Like, I would really love to see them improve this. Like, the survivors. And who's hungry. Like, when you go back to the camp. If there was just even an area where... You know, like, because I don't think this kid, this is hard, but who, who am I? Like, for instance, we have people here that are hungry. I don't right now, but hungry and sick. When you spawn back into that camp, imagine in that camp, in that camp when you spawn back at it, you'll see, like, if you have sick people, you'll see, like, four or five people walking around as if they're sick. But if you clear that sickness, then everybody's fine. You know, or if you go into that area, um, you go into that area and somebody's hungry, you see people looking like they're hungry and they have, oh, I'm super hungry, like, oh, whatever, something like that. Like, those are the little things that make it such a great game. And I wouldn't put it past Naughty Dog, because Naughty Dog, this is why they're having the game delayed, because it's not pinpoint exactly how Naughty Dog wants it at this point. And we know that because... When you, if you've ever seen the development, whether behind the scenes of Last of Us Remastered or Last of Us the Original, like they literally redid scenes, you know, for days on end until it came out exactly how they wanted it to be. So things like that, let me know. None of what I'm saying is beyond Naughty Dog. <clears throat> yeah, so let's hopefully get a good game. It's going to be 3v3 for now. Yeah, man. Yeah, what do you guys think? What is the most important thing you guys want to see in The Last of Us? In it? I think I think what would... If I had to make a top five most popular things most obvious things to include clickers in online mode more executions would have to be 
more like unique executions would have to be top two. Better mobility, and this is mostly online stuff. Better mobility, so that's diving, that's crouching, that's jumping. You know, even as far as punching and stuff like that. That's actually no, I'll put that separate. Better combat as four and fifth. Um, I don't really care about this so much, but I'm sure a lot of people do. Just m more guns. And I guess I could fall with combat, but when I'm speaking of combat, you know, I'm talking about bats, um, crowbars, like breaking off one of these things here and be able to use that. Like, that's the Good stuff I'm go. talking about. Actually, destructibility. That would be number five. And I mentioned it in one of the earlier videos, like the dam. Like, I would love to see. Like you be able to shoot off part of the dam and woo, talk way too much, way too much. All right, who got that kill? Is this in? X1, XN? I don't know if, anyway. Yep. Oh, you're dead. Damn, man. A lot of shots, Brody. Give me a sec. Alright, it's gonna be time for me to get in this game. All done, let's go. Oh, we got him, we got him. Wow. I'm down. With not a man in sight. Fuck, man. Like that, I, as mad as I am, I have nobody to blame for not seeing it. Like I made the wrong read, I should've just shot him. Knowing that I had somebody else coming. Damn, this is a bad start. Yep. Oh, how you miss that, man? Smoke, well, I don't know how you miss that. Yeah, give me my assist. Oh, my lord. Oh, everyone had the same idea, finally. Yeah, I also like the laid back, like, nature of it. It's not so intense as far as every moment you're running around doing that stuff. Like, come on now, it's a survival game. You're gonna have down time like this. What the fuck, bro? And of course, man.
Like I, I have half a mind not to upload this video right now. Good to go. This is embarrassing. All done. Let's go. Holy shit, man. Cover me. All done, let's go. Fuck, man. Fuck. I'm down. Yeah, fuck him up, dog. Hurry the hell up. Fucking dying. Fuck. Down. Shit, fuck him up, dog. Let's finish him off. Finally, bro. Like. A little too late. All done, let's go. Time to wrap this up. Oh, I'm hey, gonna die on, already. Don't die. This guy's a brave heart. Holy fudge. That was a terrible bit. Whew, that couldn't be even worse. Well, I hate to end it like that, guys, but it seems it's going to be what it is. So, yeah, that's that's kind of my thoughts. I mean, I guess this, this video ended up talking more about how to, you know, how they can incorporate the hungry system, hungry, sick, and healthy system. I think that, as I explained before, would be a really cool idea. You guys let me know what you guys think about that. Is there any modes that you guys would see different? Would you want like an RPG style um, online community type bit? You see it in Xenoverse, you see it in Jump Force. Just even having that one hub, online hub, would you guys be interested in that? Or do you guys just think that's too much? Just focus on the gameplay itself. You guys let me know about that in the comments below. The Soloist, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.